Yo, so this is the process of my most recent artwork. As you can see, I start off in Cinema 4D by just turning a cone into somewhat of a nerve string for an eye. I just need to get the base going so I can put that into ZBrush and then do some additional modeling, which I'm doing right now. It does need to be perfect because I know I won't be going for a hyper-realistic look, neither will I be going super close um, to the eye. So I can just get some basic sculpting in and get away with that call it a day that's fine because it just needs to look the part it doesn't need to actually be what it actually is if you catch my drift importing that back into cinema 4d we can start off by doing some oh yeah rigging because i've never done that so i had to research it which allows me to freely manipulate the nerve string uh, instead of like using a spline wrap to place it this makes it indefinitely easier i'm now creating a midi material i believe that's from the horror texture material pack or something like that just a regular mix material i try to see and get something uh, that looks right and looks the part it does need to be perfect i'm now inside Death studio so i can get the gauntlet in uh, pretty basic stuff because i know i just want the hand and as you can see right now i'm messing up the scaling but that's fine it's just a one i've seen and we won't do won't be doing anything else with it i'm now placing our eyes inside the hand so it looks like they are kind of resting in it um and yeah then i proceed to just adjust the metal material of the gauntlet it's pretty basic it's the normal from the actual model and then it's just some additional roughness bump and coating bump uh, for some scratches then dirt material with a black color so it gets a bit more rough and same for the leather that's a meta uh, that's a, a quicksil material with the normal from the glove applied actually so we can still get those folds in and you can see me place a light catcher right here because i kind of want to go for this flash photography look i just want this piece to be atmospheric and deliver a certain atmosphere so there's not much to do i'm just littering the scene with plants as you can see right now adjusting the colors of those so they can fit the overall vibe and yeah just playing around with lighting seeing what works and what doesn't and just littering some more plants in there more plants and adjusting the materials because i i'm getting somewhere that i really like and we are nearing the finish putting a fog volume in there see if that works putting in another light and then putting the big fog volume on top of everything. I've used the Easy Ivy plugin to do some strings for the eyes so it can get a bit more of a disgusting look and then I clone some more plants in the back. Those are super lightweight so I don't have to worry about the clone count. Adjusting the eye colors for each individual eye so they are all different. Adding some more strings using the Easy Ivy plugin. And yeah, that's pretty much basically it for the cinema part. I'm just doing fine-tuning, um, adjusting all the settings, and then some more material adjusting, and we are pretty much off to the races right now. Except we want to make it more bloody, so I'm putting in the blood texture inside our mixed material. It's not tileable, but using the Chaos Note, you can make every texture that isn't tileable tileable. It doesn't work for all of them, but for this it works just perfectly fine. Doing some more light to the back, seeing what works. I didn't want to go as red, but I did want to have some color in the background, so I opted for the gradient from red to black with the volume catching the red light from the back, and that's just fine. Now I'm just setting up the render passes, and then it's off to the render and into Photoshop. We always start off by just doing camera raw stuff, additional some color tweaking, and then it's up to the render passes to make it look nice. So I adjust all the render passes, some additional shadow work, and we are pretty much done with the piece. So some more textures and we're good. And if you're interested in the whole process, that is available on my Patreon, patreon.com slash It's about a, it's a two hour video and the PSD of that image is also included. And for the higher patrons, I've included the Cinema 4D project file, including the textures so you can open it up in your own software and see how that came together thank you very much for supporting and for watching i'm sorry i'm not as active but i hope you still enjoy it